Sorry. Ow. Ah. Ow. Ah. Tyler? What you doing over there? Is it hot? And don't touch it if it's hot. second show too because I'm all proud of this band up here and they are just tougher than wine leather I gotta say them. yesterday we did two shows on the General Jackson show look like we did today at the noon cruise then about 2 30 we left the airport and got out here at the at signature and at about three o'clock we were wheels up in a, in a private corporate jet we flew up to to uh, Frankfurt New York last night and did two shows at their county fair at 7 30 and 9 30 the 9.30 show was about 30 minutes long because then they had tornado warnings and some rain and stuff, so they had canceled the second half of the second show. We tore all down, got back to the airport about 11.30, 12 o'clock, got back in Nashville about a quarter to two this morning, and then we did the children's show this morning here on the General Jackson Show at 8 o'clock, and then these two shows here today. So what I was really wanting to... <laughs> what I was really wanting to say was, give my band a big hand because they are just absolutely terrific.
Customer service is the message. For example, think about McDonald's. When you go to McDonald's here in Nashville versus McDonald's overseas, will the Big Mac taste the same? There we go, yes. It's consistent wherever you go, they're going to taste the same. We're the same way to a degree. Whether it's at a radius shack in Fort Worth, Texas, or Cut Bank, Montana, you have the same type of service, same type of merchandise, and same type of quality. Well, Radius Shack has developed a business model that has proven to be successful in our own retail environment, as well as our new franchise stores. When you think of the brand, they think of it. We did that backwards. But uh, to this is the message, there's seven keys to doing this. These keys are location of your store, inventory, merchandising skills, selling skills, customer care, and retail management. We've identified these seven key areas that are very important to running your business today. These ingredients, are the, are these seven, seven keys, are the ingredients for running a very successful business. Now these can be used in any business, as Michael Gerber told you this morning. The bottom line was, if you have a system in your stores, you'll be successful. Well, over the last nine to 12 months, your DSMs have been interviews with you, talking to you about the seven keys. These keys are a way of systematically running your business and keeping you on track of the things that are important versus the things that are not so important. Well, today I don't have enough time to cover all seven keys with you. It takes about two or three hours. If you want, I will do that. You want to you cover all of them? You guys can say no, it's okay. We'll just cover three, but we'll cover the three that I consider the most important. They are merchandising, customer care, and selling skills. And stop talking about these today, if you would, kind of think back and take a mental picture and see which of these tools you're using in your stores today. Maybe if you're not using these tools, what you need to do is like, well, you know what, maybe I need to do that. Make a note to yourself to do it later. But let's first talk about the brand itself. Brand represents quality, trust, and reputation. Seeing the name on the outside will represent the quality on the inside. For example, Coca-Cola. How many here buys Coca-Cola? Raise your hands. Okay. Versus how many here buy like Sam's Club or Food Life brand? You can, that's okay, you can admit it. You can raise your hand. Well, why are you willing to pay more, actually double the price for the Coca-Cola brand? In some cases, it tastes pretty much the same. In some cases. But we're willing to pay at least double the price for it. It's because you trust that brand. You know when you open a can of Coke, it's going to taste the same. Whenever and wherever you open it. And in some cases, the reason you buy supposed of loyalty to the company itself. Well, when you have a formula first, you're able to charge more for it. So when you're stores today, don't feel guilty about charging more for your merchandise. You have things like trust and trust and brand. You have the quality. And that's both your service and your um, products you give to your customers. And you have the name itself. Well, brand has value. You need to differentiate yourself from the rest of the pack. Do not fall in line with the big, big brand retailers. You need to make your brand stand out. You need to show your customers the value of Radio Shack. Yes, we are more expensive to some of our competitors, but we will show you how to hook up the merchandise, and we will be there after the sale. Is what we call Radio Shack value added merchandise. People aren't buying the price. We have added value added to the price. So if you want price, you can go to the retailers. But again, we have more than that. We have the service after the sale. You need to train your employees on the value of Radio Shack. Show them, show them the true value of our lender products. For example, you need to give them the ammunition when that person comes in from Walmart. What's the difference of buying a Walmart versus buying Radio Shack? Well, one of them, we have better quality merchandise. We have service, we'll deliver it, things like that. Help your employees out making the, the, uh, the, the comparisons of the two. Also, it's not fair for you or your staff to assume the customer wants the cheapest merchandise. For example, when a person comes to your store looking for a video game, what do your employees grab? Which one? In most cases, they grab the cheapest cable. Well, it's not fair to the customer because what, how do you know what he's using it for? 
For example, is he using this video cable for his 13 inch TV in the bedroom? Or is he using it for his 61 inch high definition TV he just paid $10,000 for? It? We always have to assume the customer wants has, has the best quality. So train your employees to grab the gold cables. If they want something cheaper, they'll tell you. I need something cheaper than this. Well, then sell them the other, the other cable then. We can't assume the customer wants something cheapest. Let's look at this gam an example, a gas station. You know, there's three rates of gasoline, and there's a pretty significant difference in the load rate versus high rate, right? But if we assume people always want the cheapest, then they would always buy the low grade gas. Yet I've seen people at the high grade pump. Now why is that? Is there really a difference in the high grade gasoline versus the low grade? Well, absolutely. The high grade gasoline, it uh, lengthens your engine line. You have better performance and it burns cleaner. Well, is there really a difference in our gold cables versus our cheap silver cables? Absolutely. Have you ever tried to pull the gold cable off the back of a VCR? You gotta use two hands for that. Well, that type of connection will clearly give you a better signal on the TV set. You've heard the, uh, the old saying, keep your friends close, but keep your competition closer. This means offering quality merchandising selection in your stores. I was reading an article twice magazine a couple weeks ago. They had a survey with 2,050 adults, and they were asked to name the top three brands of what they consider were the best. The number one brand chosen was Sony. And this is the third year in a row for Sony. Now you're saying, well, you know what? I don't make big margins on Sony, so why do I want to sell Sony for? Well, it's all about relevancy. Having what the customer wants when they want the merchandise. As I look further in the article, the other brands that stood out in either quality or sales were brands like VTech, Panasonic, and Planetronics. Now I ask you, where can you find some of the most trusted names in the industry. They're now at? Let's hear that. They're now at? Radio Shack. We've enhanced our relevancy with the customer by carrying all these brand names, all these well-known names, to supplement our lines of merchandise. So as we, look, as we look further about the business, let's look and see what makes the brand Radio Shack stand out from the other retailers. Number one is their name and the sign. It's hard to pass a radio check sign today and the big black sign, white letters, red circle or logo, and miss those signs. And did you know that the red circle R is the third most recognized name in the world today? That's behind Coca-Cola and McDonald's. We, didn't. we have great customer service. We have over, you can find great service and they make one or all of over 7,000 notifications. People like to shop when they get this personal service. Let me ask you, when was the last time you were greeted by name personally? I mean, in, other, in other retailers. It doesn't happen. Yet we do it at Radio Shack. It's our stores close by. Over 7,200 stores today where you can find telephones, cellular phones, and toys. 94% of America lives, within, lives or works within five miles of Radio Shack. Now, how convenient is that? We have trusted brands, as I stated earlier. We sell the brands that America wants. Sony, RCA, Track Phones, Brand PCS, and the other goes on and on. How about our trained staff? You get people in your stores every day who come from other retailers. They come to you for answers. Well, I just walked this down the street. How do I hope to say that? We do such a great job training our staff, and we let our customers know that. How about our selection of accessories? If you're not associated with Radio Shack, and you need a light bulb, where would you find a light bulb at? And most people will say, well, I don't, I don't really know. We sell accessories that the other major uh, retailers don't. For example, there's a retailer in Fort Worth, Texas, now a new one, it's called Ultimate Electronics. If you want a DVD player, they have over 40 models of DVD players. If you want a TV set, there's over 110 models of TV sets in our stores. It's as long as this wall. But if you want a patch cable, you're not going to find it there. Or it might be hard to find there. If you want an outdoor antenna, they don't sell those things. But Radio Shack is known for the accessories, and those other big price retailers are not. How about a small store format? 
Are you guys at a disadvantage having a small store versus a large store? Well, let's think about this. Let's say you're looking for a portable CD player. And you think, you know what? I'll get a better price at uh, probably Circuit City. So as you enter the store, you, open, you come to the front door, and it's a huge, huge store. Number one, how do you ever find a portable CD player section out of this big store? Well, you roam around for two or three hours, you finally find it. When you get there, they have every model known to mankind. And then they're like two dollars apart. Well, how do I choose between this and here versus that one? Well, let's ask the salesperson. So you turn around, and what do you find? Help me out here. No one. A what? I didn't find anybody last time I went to Best Buy. Yeah, nobody. There's nobody there. In your small store, you have easy to find departments. You have the right merchandise selection. You have the right price. And if you want a salesperson, all you have to do is just turn around and say, hey, and they're there. Now let me ask you, who truly has the advantage? It's you guys. Okay, we just looked at the um, reasons that the Recheck brand stands out. Let's look at your independent stores or themselves.